You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Well, howdy, everybody. How's your day going? Mine is freaking fantastic. And welcome to another lovely episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul, and here with me is our lovely bald guru, Rob. Welcome to the show, Rob. Well, thank you, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. I don't know why we're doing this, but... I don't know. I'm just going for a change up What here, kind Rob. of podcast are we doing, anyways? I'm not really sure. I was thinking this was the uh, Love, Sex, and Drones podcast. <laughs> That's about what it sounds like. I'm just kidding. I don't know how you mix those, but okay. I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, welcome to another show, guys. Um, we are excited today to be talking about... How can you unlock your drone? If you are trying to fly in an area that is normally restricted, but you have an authorization, how can you unlock that bad boy? We are talking DJI, right? Specifically? Um, We are. You know what? This is actually a really good point before we go into this, because if you have a unique um, H520, the hexacopter with the E90 camera on it, you're not going to have this problem because it doesn't have any no-fly zones. And if you fly a solo, you're not gonna have this problem either. But the problem you'll have with a solo is a six minute flight time. So, (laughs) I would nix the solo and just go straight for Unique. Um, And besides, the Unique Typhoon H520 is actually a really badass bird for mapping. Um, It's actually incredibly awesome. So, that being said, um, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, Today's podcast, is brought to you by our friends at Energen. Um, Actually, if you do have a unique Typhoon H520, you can charge the batteries off of an Energen battery. So if you have the A40 battery, you can actually charge your unique batteries in the field, which is pretty awesome. Now for me, I'm heading out of town today. I'm leaving, going to West Texas, take care of some business. And the funny thing is, I'm going to be taking my Energen battery with me because I'm going to be in an area where I will not have anywhere to plug in. So it's going to be a really useful tool for me. But um, if you want an Energen battery, just go over to myenergen.com forward slash shop and use discount code DRONEUA40 if you do happen to have a unique battery. Anyway, Rob, why don't you go ahead and let's hear this uh, romantic question. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Joe from Texas. And my question is, I just did a firmware update the night before a job. I was shooting a commercial property, and it happened to be in a Class C airspace. I do possess a Class C authorization, and when I went to launch my UAS, the Phantom 4 Pro, the DJI app would not let me launch my drone. I would like to know what I'm supposed to do now, or how do I get DJI to lift that, I guess, geofence so I can do my job. Thanks, Joe. Um, this is a problem that a lot of people are having. Um, we're it's hearing about it quite a bit. becoming a pretty contentious issue, um, as I yeah. tweeted DJI just now. And I also tweeted one of my hacker buddies who was saying, this is an issue because how do you actually vet pilots who need to have their drones unlocked versus nefarious characters? Yeah, absolutely. And legitimate pilots who have legitimate authorizations, legitimate licensing, who are trying to do legitimate work are being stopped with everything else in place by this geofencing system. Not good. Well, I mean, you brought up uh, an interesting point. It was interesting that a lot of people were saying that if I have federal authority from my home country, what like validity does a Chinese actor have for inhibiting my vehicle? Yeah. And I think it's a solid question. question, But, I mean, I think what they're trying to do is inhibit terrorists, um, idiots, um, a-holes, and other nefarious characters Mm -hmm. from doing bad things with drones, which would really significantly hurt the industry. Absolutely, and and that is um, respectable. Even admirable. Um, 
And also there's just a tremendous amount of liability I'm sure that they have that we don't even understand, right? I mean, I, who knows what kinds of conversations they've had, even with government officials from the U.S. I mean, we don't know all that goes into this, so there is some benefit of the doubt that can be offered up here. But that said, for folks who can prove they have everything in place to be able to fly in said place, there's got to be a simple way to allow them to do that. Well, in a simple way, I agree is necessary. Now, DJI has multiple zones that quote unquote can be unlocked. They've got green zones, which are just warning zones. They've got yellow zones, which inhibit your flight. But then they have red zones that cannot be unlocked unless you specifically reach out to, um, what is it called? To DJI. You have to email them to the fly fly safe safe email at DJI.com and request that. I'm sure you're going to have to show proof of your authorization that you can fly in that specific area. Um, But I'm also aware that certain applications, if you're doing, say, a third-party like mapping software, for example, there are third-party applications that allow you to fly in these areas um, without having to go through this process. Such as? Um, Supposedly an application called Site Aware, and supposedly Litchi would let you do it in certain areas as well. Right. Though we've not tested either of those. We've heard from some folks that that's that they got one it way to do it. Yep. And then there's this company called No Limit Drones, and they say that they will unlock your drone if you can provide proof that you are indeed authorized to fly it, um, and they'll unlock all the areas which I thought was pretty cool. So, cause there's one I've noticed, like there's this racetrack in Albuquerque that I fly sometimes. And I've noticed that sometimes it won't let me fly over the parking lot. And it's because it's within like a mile or so of the jail. And it's kind of annoying though. Cause I'm like trying to do a shot of like, you know, an establishing shot of the racetrack and I can't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, anyway, it would be nice to be like, hey, this is this is an issue. You can report an error, but if you are out in the field for whatever reason and you have cellular data, you can actually unlock a yellow or a green zone just by simply clicking a few buttons and voila, you're good to go. Right in the app. Right in the app. Okay. Yep. But if you so you better do some planning, obviously, and I and I know most of the folks, if not all the folks listening, do when they're going to do a job, so they know the area they're going to. They've checked the airspace, et cetera, et cetera. But if it's a red zone, you better do some planning because it could take a little while to get that unlocked. Yep. And as I understand it, and I don't know if this is still true. I don't know if you know, Paul, but it only unlocks for like twenty four hours. Uh huh. It's well, they said that it normally unlocks for seventy two hours. It's seventy two now. Yeah. They, okay. That was in the video that DJI put out. Gotcha. Okay, so that's changed from what I last saw. Cool. But it could take you a minimum of 24 to 48 hours to get that done, right, is my understanding if you're trying to get that unlocked. Yep. Hmm. All right. Gotcha. Interesting. Well, it is interesting. There is obviously an argument here as to whether they should have the right to unlock your drone or not. Obviously, they're going after the safety aspect of it, which I understand. But I wish there was a simpler, faster way to unlock these things. Because some people in the forums were saying it took days to get, um, you know, a response from them. What has been your experience with trying to get zones unlocked? Have you tried much? I haven't actually had to unlock many zones, in all honesty. Um, I've had an issue once um, where I was flying the Rocky Stadium um, to map it for um, the radar company that puts all the radar units in there. And I couldn't take off that day. And I tried to unlock the area, but it was coming up as a red area saying that there was a TFR that day, and there was, in fact, no TFR. And I found out that the maps that they were using and the information they were using were actually from AirMap, which is another reason I hate AirMap, um, besides for them spending a quarter of a million dollars trying to get the drone federalism bill enacted. Um, But um, that has been an issue for me. But then I just use the good old physics mm-hmm. solution that I'm not going to mention on the show. <laughs> there, are, there are other ways is what you're saying. There are other ways. 
Um, but you couldn't do mapping with those other ways because you wouldn't have the data you would need in order to do mapping. Right. So, hmm. yeah. so it's a it's a flawed system. There is a system that's in place. It's it sounds as if it's a little inconsistent as to how well it works from person to person who tries to use the system. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, if it's a yellow zone, it, though, guys, you shouldn't have an issue. You should be able to just unlock it straight from the app. Just FYI, um, it shouldn't be an issue. It's the red zones that you're going to have more trouble. Right, so, where you're going to you're going to need to plan for that and prepare for a little time to get that done. Yeah, but I mean, cool. any good pilot with some planning, you should be should be good to go. So. Right. The challenge, though, is let, for example, if weather is an issue, and you, even if you have 72 days, I, I mean hours. Sorry, <laughs> if you have 72 days, you're probably all right. But even if you have 72 hours, that you could run into a challenge with getting the right weather in place to go fly. True. But I guess it is what it is. So Well, I know that if you are a federal um probably agent isn't the right word. If you are a federal employee and you use drones, they'll unlock the whole country for you. I don't know how I know that, but I know that. <laughs> you don't know how you know that. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Well, so go get one of them gigs. Yeah. And then you can have the whole country. Yeah, unlocked seriously. For you. Um anyway. Um, but I think that answers our question for today. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com, upload that question, and leave us a review if you'd like to support our show. Otherwise, if you want to become a member, have access to 27 courses soon. That will be 31 courses, probably next couple weeks here. Um, you got to check it out. The new courses that are coming out is an online subject tracking training with flying over water, um, construction progression mapping, and then cell tower mapping. And in addition to that, we have an entire business course coming out that has been that's taken almost four months to record. So we're really excited about that. And um, if you are a member, you will have free access to all of those things. Yep, absolutely. It's fun to put courses out because members get them without having to do anything else. True. Just boom, there. True, true, yours. true. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for us today, guys. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. And this is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.